she may be educated uneducated she may be working class she may be an officer she may be high ranking officer like me all women nobody is immune and it happens every day in 1988 i was serving as special secretary finance i had uh, about 20000 people under me 90% were men there was a dinner party hosted by the home secretary and uh, mr k p s gill who was the director general of police was also there he called out to me and he said mrs bajaj i want to talk to you about something he got up and he came and stood in front of me staring above me he put the finger in my face like that and he said up come on up come along with me come on you come along with me so i said i said mr gill go away from here you are misbehaving and i got out from the gap in between him and me and when i was going that is the time when he uh, well he slapped me on the bottom that's what he did always people have considered it to be a very trivial thing but i could not get over the enormity of it letting it go meant living with a lowered self esteem gulping down my humiliation facing that person every day facing all the other people consequences of complaining i had not really estimated at that time nobody was willing to take up the case for me because they were so frightened of of the dgp he was the highest ranking police officer with all the powers of life and death no one wanted to do anything against him and i found that no one had ever filed in section 509 and 354 which is the lesser offenses against the modesty of women 17 years long years of my life all of it was taken up by this by this one case the lower courts had quashed the case they had thrown it out the case reached the supreme court and it was the supreme court which called for all the records reinstated the matter and also laid down they gave the definition of modesty they reprimanded the high court judge and said this cannot be treated as something trivial all the people in every household this was the talk between husband and wife the limelight was not on kps gill the entire focus was on me why have i registered a case must be something wrong with me i attended the at uh, the proceedings of the trial throughout along with my husband but on the day the verdict came i specially requested i said i don't want to go there kps gill was expecting to win so they had the police band there and then my husband's driver rang up and said madam he has been convicted on both counts it's the mindset i fought against i never fought against kps gill i fought against the mound mindset of a society people have started saying now uh, offenses against women are increasing they are increasing no now more women are speaking up 